what we are going to do is procure both stock materials and non stock materials in the same order and see how they are different so we have created a material coffee beans 06 and to do us to order stirrers we have to create stirrers did we create stirrers i'm not sure let's go check go to mm01 type in stirrers 01 and it's a raw material but we want to create it as a non-stock material so use n lag and hit ok and as usual select basic data 1 purchasing accounting select chicago 1 stirrers whatever basic unit of measure each it's not measured in pounds right enter some material group enter and just save it all right now go, let's go to me21n select 4001 and say coffee beans 06 100 pounds right and then stirrers sti -R -R -E -R 01 say you know we are ordering thousand stirrers oops i see a red there what's the problem you see the warning at the bottom account assignment mandatory for stirrers it didn't say that for coffee beans right the obvious reason is coffee beans are a different material type and stirrers are a different material type so this one is a stock material and this one is a non-stock material and how are they different based on the material type this uses roh for material type this uses n lag for its material type so go back to the material master if you have questions on the different material types how they are different uh, and see more examples of different kinds of materials now so sap is not allowing us to go forward because it's not a warning it's an error so you can't save it well you can save it technically but you can't really do anything with it so how do we fix this problem well we gotta do something like this we gotta put an account assignment of k k means cost center hit enter and then at the line item level of course put a price and then at the line item level go to account assignment tab and put a cost center here if you put a k k for cost center if you go to the possible list of values you'll see that k stands for cost center what's really happening here why is it that the coffee beans does not require a cost center but stirrers need a cost center well when coffee is ordered and goods are received coffee stays in stock in the warehouse so coffee is really stock let me go back here so when co when you order coffee coffee says stays as stock in the warehouse because it's a stock material raw material and you know stirrers are raw material too but but you have created it as n lag non stock material that means the system does not track the stock well, there is still stock but system does not track the stock and it's not treated as stock when, so when non stock materials like stirrers or baking sheets are ordered they don't stay as stock they are deemed as consumed immediately now i know it's confusing so just stay with me here when coffee beans are received and put in stock it's sitting there waiting to be consumed right so the principle is really simple this is the principle of dual entry accounting so for every transaction there should be an equal and opposite amount of entries equal credits equal debits think of it like a seesaw 
you put something here you put something here equal and opposite it's balanced right on one hand we have paid the vendor say a value of thousand dollars for what hundred pounds of coffee and we have hundred pounds of coffee sitting here so it's balanced so we have stock of hundred pounds and we have paid the vendor of thousand dollars now how about non-stock materials let's say we awarded thousand dollar worth of stirrers right the same vendor and we don't store them as stock say we get 10,000 stirrers where are they well they are there in the warehouse nobody's going to eat them but where are they they are deemed as consumed what does it mean it's not in the stock but it's still in the warehouse that's totally confusing definitely now they are kept physically in the warehouse but the system is not tracking the stock so there are three things here they are physically in the warehouse and second point is sab is not tracking it not tracking the stock not tracking the value and we are saying the stock is deemed as consumed so they are physically in the warehouse the stock is deemed as consumed but say but sap is not tracking it you got to understand these three things really to understand what non stock materials are so logistically speaking like i said there's no difference between coffee beans and stirrers in terms of procurement they are there in the warehouse like any other stock but SAP is not tracking the stock because we have created that material as a non-stock material. All right? Now when SAP is not tracking it, that means that it is off the books. And when something goes off the books, it has to be either consumed or damaged. When I mean consumed, there are many possibilities. A, a shop that requires coffee stirrers could consume it or the coffee stirrers could be burned and they're gone they're off the books now so when they are consumed somebody is bearing the cost of it that's the bottom line how can it, somebody bear a cost for a material somebody in the company that's done using what is called as a cost center now there are other ways of consuming for example a customer could consume some stock and that's called consumption via sales order a production order meaning an order to manufacture cakes could consume raw material so that's called consumption against a production order right there are different ways in which stock can be consumed and the simplest way is consumption against a cost center or a department In the word cost center don't let that word scare you a cost center is a technical word for a department so what departments does my coffee shop have i have a marketing department taking care of flyers and you know advertising my coffee shop i have a production department making cakes pastries and all the good stuff I have my HR department taking care of employees and salaries promotions etc etc I have a finance department taking care of accounting right each department will incur some costs the HR department might need paper for printing so paper is a cost that the HR department is incurring and paper needs to be procured so all orders of papers that are coming in will be charged against the hr department if that's the only department that uses it why are we not putting in stock and charging directly to the hr department that's a good question we'll we'll get to that in a minute so for now let's create this cost center and creating a cost center is creating a code for a department as simple as that okay 
how to create a cost center the transaction for that is so the transaction to create a cost center is ks01 and the controlling area is 2000 that's what we have been already using and we are going to create a cost center for hr hr01 and it's valid from today give it a name hr department or a description doesn't matter person responsible say i'm responsible and the cost center category uh, say administration because it's all hr right administration and the hierarchy code yeah, you can always go and select from the possible list. Say, say finance and administration. Company code, of course, is US01. And the currency is USD. That will be derived automatically. And save. Oops, okay. So it says the company code is not created. Let's fix this problem real quick. Go to enterprise structure. Assignment. Controlling. Assign company code to controlling area, select 2000, click on new entries, enter US01, don't worry about this step, it's not important for us. Right. And we have done some magic behind the scenes, so let's go back and try this again. KS01. HR01, put a name of HR department, the person responsible is Siva, and the business area is, the business area is something, hit enter, save it now let's go try to order those stairs again 4001 and order coffee beans for the first item and stirrers for the second item it says account assignment mandatory and we have said in the A column or the account assignment column put a value of K. Hit enter. Put a price. The price could be $10, $20, whatever. And in the account assignment, we are going to say HR01. So what we are essentially saying is the cost of one quantity of stirrers whatever the price is the cost of stirrers is to be consumed by the hr department and don't worry about this error we're going to fix this but try to understand this concept the cost of stirrers is consumed by this department so when something is consumed it's no longer in stock done it's consumed already that's the reason why sap does not really track stock because it's consumed, it's done. You can physically keep it in the warehouse because you don't have, you don't want to keep your stirrers right by your desk, right? You could keep it in the warehouse, but purely from a consumption perspective, they are consumed, done. They are no longer tracked as stock. So the vendor has been paid and some department has consumed it and that's how it will be accounted, right? Now, let's go fix this problem. Version 0 is not defined for fiscal year 2016. And the way to fix that problem is, go open a new window, go to OKEV. This is all controlling, so you don't have to really understand it. Somebody else will fix these things for you. So, since there is no finance consultant, we are doing it all on our own. Enter controlling area 2000. Click OK. 
and it says I've locked the cost center all right so we save that go back go back go back and come here I'm gonna say no and try OK EV again hit enter and go to version 0 and settings for each fiscal year right and here enter or copy 2009 into 2016 that's the current fiscal year and save it doesn't matter any transport and we're done let's see if this gets refreshed click enter save document still faulty no we want to edit it purchase order blah 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 looks like that's not refreshed so let's go back and come again do you have to save the document no so m e 21 n put your vendor of 4000 everything else is taken care of for you just start entering the materials so coffee beans the first item and stirrers the second item it says account assignment mandatory we know what to do enter k here and then enter the price here and then enter hr as the department that's going to consume the cost of that material that's it now we can save that transaction right all right what have we seen here creation of cost center transaction k01 and we have entered some details doesn't matter what details and we have entered k is the account assignment for stirrers and under account assignment we have entered admin hr whatever as the cost center that we have created so the cost of this material whatever the quantity is is being absorbed or consumed by this cost center and that's achieved through account assignment so account assignment is a modifier that modify so account assignment is really a modifier to the way accounting is done and like i said the logistics does not change you go to same migo receive both the materials you go to same miro pay for both the materials pure nothing really changes from a logistics perspective the only change is from an accounting and consumption perspective and a the account assignment column is used to effect that modification in this case we are consuming against a cost center there are other ways to consume it which we'll see in the next set of chapters so we can create more cost centers marketing could be another cost center so create a material called flyer and then uh consume it against a cost center of marketing right so if the marketing department needs flyers they'll be consumed against the marketing department cost center so anybody creating a purchase order for this material should have to enter k here and then enter the cost center here done